So, uh, Taylor Swift fans, some of them are crazy. So much so <laughs> that um, there is a publication that has a review of her new album, and the review had to be written anonymously because this publication had gotten death threats by Taylor Swift fans in the past. Yes, these Taylor fans. So the review was written on the site Paste. It was not a glowing review. They torched her album. Yeah. <laughs> they just torched it. The reviewer's name was on the article. Then the threats started coming in, and it was changed now to say just by Paste staff. So this is how bad it is. Now, the problem is that the cat's out of the bag and they can clearly find out who it was. Right. On the one hand, you could say, well, so many of her fans are, you know, young kids, 13, 14 years old. But some of, uh, she spans, some of them are she old, spans, yes. she's older fans yeah. also, and you don't, they don't know, these are. We have some in our office. <laughs> are, that's not what I was gonna say. So, but we gonna do. Say, they can't tell who the, whether this is like a teenage girl or this is someone older who might actually go through with something, so that's why they have to take all of this seriously. Um, so we're gonna give a review in a minute, right? <laughs> yes, yes you are, yes you are. Um, but um, th there's some history here because Paste Magazine did a review of her last album in 2019, and again, unkind to her in terms of the review, and they got torched then too. And, and maybe that's why the Swifties kind of had it out for them. They were looking out for this maybe. But the, the fact of the matter is, look, let's just be honest, and this is not my review, but there are a lot of why do you, negative why reviews. Why are you shaking? Well, because I'm not shaking. I just haven't listened to the album. I would give you my honest review if I'd heard all of it. A lot of people are saying that this is by no means her best work. 